people aren't going to accept low energy retrofit if it means you lose the character or the joy in your home. It's the first time I've had the opportunity to design a house for myself. It's an Edwardian house from about 1905. We extended at the rear, we converted the loft and then did a, a low energy retrofit and that involved insulating the entire house, triple glazing, air tightness and MVHR. The back of the house is north facing, so really the key was to open up the house at ground floor to bounce the natural light around a bit more. What we've tried to do at the same time is not make the entire house completely open plan and we've kept some partitions. With the garden, rather than having a patio just outside the door, because it's north facing, you're, you're never really gonna sit in the shadow there. So that meant we could bring the planting right up to the door and the window and have the sitting area slightly further in, into the middle of the garden. It's about working with the orientation and responding to what you have. I like the bedroom because it's quite a minimal space with a really restricted palette of materials. It's only Douglas fir and lime plaster. We wanted to create a full wall of curtains so it really feels like part of the architecture. In winter, temperatures are stable throughout the house. There's no cold spots near windows. The other thing is the MVHR, it filters the, the fresh air coming into the house. So it removes things like diesel particulates and NOx. Also things like pollens, if you suffer from hay fever like I do, it should be a much better indoor air quality too. With the, both the finishes and the structure of the house, we've tried to consider embodied energy as carefully as possible. And to reduce that, really, it means using less materials that are heavily processed or are transported a long way. So we've tried to use stone and timber wherever we can, avoiding the use of concrete and steel wherever possible. The key thing that I learned during the process of doing a low energy build is that it's really important to keep an eye on the air tightness I think there's lots of simple things that you can do and even if you're not doing a low energy retrofit you can quite easily have draft proof letterbox covers, you can properly seal existing doors and windows, you can add secondary glazing really cost effectively so there's lots of low hanging fruit. It's just thinking about decisions carefully because you can do a lot that doesn't have any impact on the budget but will save a lot either in embodied energy or energy in use. The Modern House, selling thoughtfully designed homes across the UK.